All right, guys, it's day five of the vlog. Um, so I got the ambulance called on me yesterday. So I was playing Destiny, right? And um, basically, like, oh, dude, this fucking landscaper. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, all right, so basically, I was playing Destiny, right? And I was playing with uh, Adrian, the dude who I'm DJing with. And I'm like, dude, I was like, felt like I was about to pass out, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get up really quick. Like, you know, um, fucking get my bearings straight. And I, uh, I got up and I fucking passed out and hit my head on like the corner of some shit. And uh, so basically, right, I was on the ground and I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, this might be it for me. You know what I'm saying? I actually was kind of like, oh fuck. Like I, I honestly, what I thought was, I was like having a heart attack and it was all the fucking energy drinks. And I was like, oh shit, dude. I knew this day was coming. You know, I knew this shit was gonna happen, bro. Like I'll, I'm a fucking idiot. Like I shouldn't have drank all those energy drinks. And then I thought about how if I died, um, the fucking, like I would get the cr most cringe fucking edits made of me, right? That'd be the, the one half would be cringe fucking shit edits, right? of people who are like just posting cringe shit with like me with fucking angel wings and shit like I and then I I can't have that and the second half would be people saying it was because of steroids I've never taken a steroid in my life but I know these motherfuckers would be like oh dude he fucking was on he was blasting bro this is what he gets for blasting dude I swear to god someone in the fitness industry nowadays could get eaten like you could go in the ocean and get eaten by a shark and motherfuckers would still be like, it was it was the steroids. You know what I'm saying? A natural could go in the ocean, get eaten by a star shark, you know, or get hit by a boat and die. And I swear these motherfuckers would be like, oh, he's it was the roids, you know? So I just couldn't have those two things happen. Really the cringe edits were like, you know, really one of the I was like, no, I can't, I uh can't let that shit slide, so I basically got up on my hands and knees and my mom was like freaking out because like I hit my head so called the ambulance I was like pretty disoriented and uh I I, I think it was just because like I hadn't eaten yesterday and my blood sugar was like 50 um I think it's supposed to be around like like the bottom it should be is like 70 but it's not super low I mean people with diabetes can get down to 20 but I don't think it was like too serious but The other things it could be is like a heart thing uh something like that so i'm actually so i gotta get my blood work done and my heart checked out because they can't check your heart without your blood work so i gotta go do that in the next uh two or so days um so yeah that's uh that's kind of just what's been going on bro did y'all know david laid has a sex tape like, I'm not shitting on it or anything. I just didn't know. Like, someone someone recently was just like, look up on Google, David Lade's sex tape. And uh, I looked it up, and bro, it's the first link. And it's like, oh, is this fake? No, bro. It is not fake, bro. His face is, like, very clearly in that shit. Um, bro has the most vertical penis. No homo. That's what somebody said. That wasn't my comment. Someone was like, bro, that shit is, like, sh like so curved that it's, like, basically fucking parallel with his body. That's kind of, that's kind of fucked up. Um, yeah, no, nah, that's kind of crazy, though, dude. Apparently, a lot of fitness influencers have, like, fucking crazy videos about them come out. Dude, if one comes out about me, bro, I promise it's either fake, it's from high school, because someone snapped fucking... Um, got some shit of me from back in the day, and then and then I was probably underage, so everyone's going to jail. Or it's an AI deep fake. <clears throat> One of the three, you know what I'm saying? And I'm okay with all three. Unless, see, my thing is like, if I had like dick pics leaked to me, I would just hope they were good ones. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I've taken some pretty shit dick pics in my life, you know. So like, if I had to choose which ones got released, I would probably say I'd want the good ones to get released. You know, not the bad ones. Uh, so, you know, I'd want I'd want one that's like really flattering. You know, hopefully I'm lean at the time. You know, you can see my abs in it. Um, you know, shit like that. 
Also, people are probably wondering why are you watching another man's sex tape? You know what I'm saying? It's not gay. It's curiosity. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, if David Goggins, for some reason, had a sex tape come out, dude, yeah, I'm gonna fucking watch it. It's not gay. You know what I'm saying? It's curiosity. Um, oh, fuck. They give me bacon instead of hash browns. Oh, that shit's gas. Shit's fire. Um, yeah, man. It ain't gay, dude. There's a girl in it, too. Can't be that gay. You know what I'm saying? If a sex tape came out of me, right, I would hope people are curious enough to watch it. You know what I'm saying? I hope I look good in it. That's kind of my main concern. You know, I was talking about this yesterday. Like, I want my dick fucking looking big. I want to be pounding that ass. You know what I'm saying? Crazy stroke game. Like, I want people to watch that shit and be fucking impressed. You know? Because then it's only a good thing, dude. They're like, damn. He lifts and he can fuck? That's fucking crazy. So, um, yeah, no. But, uh, see, now, see, now I'm getting scared. Like, thinking about back in high school, dude, I had some fucking horrible looking videos, dude. Instead of my girlfriend. She probably st still has them. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's all a deep fake. It's all a deep fake. I mean, so honestly, like, I, d I don't know if I'm gonna lift today or not. If I do, I'm gonna put in the video. But, um, yeah, after the whole yesterday thing, I don't know, I feel like it might be a bad idea. I was thinking about a lot of the things that I would suck dick for. I would maybe suck dick for a pool, you know, in my backyard. That'd be really cool. So, like, when I went to L.A. and Houston and stuff, I got to see, like, the clubbing scene, which is, like, super cool and super fun. It just feels like, though, that, like, in the clubs in the big cities, like, it's so fun. But, like, at the same time, it's, like, a it's like a flex-off. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's all these, like, rich dudes with, like, sections, and they have models, and, like, they get bottle service. And they're, like, flexing on the other people. And then, like, they all are, like, all these dudes are, like, rich as hell. But, like, I don't know. It just feels like you're kind of seeing who has the most money. It's like, oh, look at my section. Like, we got the models, the bottles, like, that stuff. And that's, like, I mean, I, I think it's fun still. But it's a little bit, like, flexy like that. And um, that's why I like raves and uh, festivals more. Because there's nothing like that. It's just kind of, like, everyone's there, like, having fun you know which is cool if you're like a baller i'd imagine it's like more fun for you um but yeah these dudes have like super nice cars super nice like houses and stuff so it's kind of like damn like i don't know just like and then the thing is like i noticed that like these dudes would be rich as fuck right but they're in these like little circles in those cities right so it's like these dudes are like, I guess they're like entrepreneurs or they own like a company and they'll be making like 50K a month, 100K a month, like crazy stuff. But they still, because they're in those like super rich flexi circles, they'll be like, damn, like my neighbor has like two Lamborghinis and I only have like three BMWs and a G Wagon. Like, fuck, dude. Like, I'm broke as fuck. Like, so then they're still like not happy with what they have. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so like competitive. But I guess a lot of people want that. I mean, like, I don't know. I just, I think it's, like, like something, like, funny to, like, look at. And, like, I come from, like, a small town in Maryland, so I would never really seen anything like that before. Like, I go to bars in, um, like, Northern Virginia. Like, when I'm at school, I go to, like, college bars down there. So it's, like, not the same at all. I guess I hadn't really been to, like, a real club before. So, like, I think that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah. Bro, we have one of these in my house. Oh. Yeah, just like that. Keep it going. You ever see that like South Park episode where like the there's like the small white one and the big black one? All right, guys, come on. You're almost there. <sighs> yeah, this is gay. This is gay as fuck. Anyway, I think honestly, like I'm gonna call it on this video. Um, I was gonna film the whole ice cream thing, but yeah, I don't know. I you know. Anyway, um, horse meat on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I know these are a little low energy, but I'm, I'm trying to get better and stuff. Thank you guys for watching them. Um, two more days, Wednesday, 3 p.m. East Coast time, Iron Crew drop. You know, if you like chains, you know, show some support. Uh, love y'all. Peace.